What is the difference between a stew and a casserole? Both contain meat, vegetables and liquid. Basically, stewing is done on the top of the cooker and a casserole is cooked in the oven. Casseroles usually take about twice as long to cook as a stew. So I tend to cook the tougher cuts of meat in the oven where they are cooked slowly over a long period of time. Today I'm going to make a chicken stew. The following weights are approximate only. Never be a slave to recipes. We all have different tastes, likes and dislikes. So adjust recipes to suit your own taste. I haven't put any garlic in this stew, but that doesn't mean you can't. For four to six portions, you will need about three pounds of chicken pieces. You can use four to six chicken breasts cut into large chunks, but chicken pieces are cheaper to buy. Two large carrots, about 400 grams. Peeled and cut into chunks. Half a swede, about 400 grams. Peeled and diced into chunks. 400 grams of turnips. Peeled and diced into chunks. Three celery sticks. Cleaned and sliced. 400 grams of onion. Peeled and diced. Two bay leaves. Three tablespoons of plain flour. One tablespoon of tomato puree. Two teaspoons of corn flour mixed to a paste with water. Oil and butter for frying. Salt and pepper to taste and 900 millilitres of chicken stock. Now you can get a couple of chicken carcasses and throw them in a big pot with a load of vegetables and herbs and water, bring it to the boil then simmer for hours and hours, strain the liquid off and you should have quite a nice tasting chicken stock. Or you can do what I do and buy it ready-made from a supermarket. 900 millilitres of ready-made chicken stock, that's just over a pint and a half, or make it with stock cubes. Put the flour in a bowl, season with salt and pepper, and mix. Coat the chicken pieces with a seasoned flour. In a large saucepan, melt the butter, add a glug of oil and fry the chicken pieces over a medium heat. Cook a few at a time don't overcrowd the pan. When browned all over, lift out and keep to one side. Keeping the heat on medium, add the onions and some more oil if necessary. Fry for about five minutes to soften. Add all the other vegetables. Add any flour left over from coating the chicken. 
cook for another five minutes. Add the chicken, the tomato puree, the stock and the bay leaf. Bring back to a simmer, turn down the heat and put a lid on it. Cook for 30 minutes. Mix the corn flour with a little water. Add it to the pot. Let it simmer uncovered for about 10 minutes so it can reduce a little. This is to thicken the sauce. Replace the lid and simmer for another 20 minutes. Cool and freeze any extra portions. Use within two months. Thaw at room temperature, then reheat in a pan until bubbling.